This is a fascinating video, completely unexpected. After completing a few tasks at the Cold Spring, New York Village hey, Hall, Scalzo and I walked to the waterfront to do some cop watching, as well as to get some delicious homemade ice cream at the Moo Moo Creamery. By the way, things get really crazy. This is real with this guy. Watch until the end. Sure. It may appear that we are simply eating ice cream as we're walking down the sidewalk, but it was nearly impossible. In fact, it was impossible to find a single cop to watch and film and to make sure they're doing the right thing. In Cold Spring, in fact, there is no crime, and the police officers there are completely unnecessary. Coming around sporadically, we will be looking into why the village is over budget. Has the mayor cut back police spending to close the $43,000 deficit? She continues to waste money on the unneeded police officers with Officer Kenneth Baker leading the pack. After enjoying the beautiful view of the Hudson, we walked back up Main Street, coming across the Phillipstown, New York Democratic Party Committee, and Phillipstown is the town where the village of Cold Spring is under. Ironically, they can't stand democracy or redressing of grievances with the government if it doesn't agree or align with their very myopic and narrow perspectives. Our conversation started out very friendly as we were invited into the conversation by Janice Hogan, chair of the committee of the Democrats. channel called Leroy Truth Investigation, and I'm an investigative journalist, and I'm investigating the village of yeah. You can check it out on there. Take a photo of the, yeah, of the image. It. Yeah, I posted it. I watched it. Five so far, and I just keep finding more corrupt and the mayor and the border dig in their heels, and they won't fire this guy, who has brutality in his Oh, yeah, that story's been going on for a while. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's like two years old. Like this story's been going on. You know? yeah. yeah, yeah. And it, I just started covering it about three months ago, but they won't fire him yet. And it's a huge liability from an insurance standpoint for the village of Cold Spring. And so many business owners I talk with, they're terrified of him, of him because he keeps harassing him, retaliation when they complain to the mayor. And so I'm just exposing the truth. That's all it is. Yeah, yeah, well, thank you. For, well, yeah. make sure that you are listening to what everyone says and record it faithfully as they said it. Right. You know? Because we have really excellent public servants here, truly. Well, we're only talking about one person, not everyone. Not everybody. Right. Actually, I'm right. talking about Janice. Janice. the mayor and the board of trustees. I was thrown out with hands on by police at the village board meeting. Look month. at this. They, need to they wouldn't hear what I'm I had to say. How did you present it? It's on my video. It's in the video. It's right on the link there. You can and check it out. They already knew about this because I've been in contact with the mayor. And as soon as I told her she can't do an internal investigation, like, we're going to check it out internally. No. She stopped getting back to me. The village uh, trustees stopped getting back to me. And this is just truth I'm giving. Well, as like I said, as long as you present the truth truthfully. Because uh, I know that Mayor Foley is a highly competent public servant. She truly works her ass off for the village of Cold Spring. A part-time job yeah. that, that, she, true, that she works full-time. And if you know her, she needs to fire Kenneth Baker. Or well, at least look into it. How about that? We'll start there. No, no, no don't, don't talk for you, Scalzo. So well. is, is that she needs to fire Kenneth Baker. That I've given the facts. It's all public record. Documented over $300,000 of extreme police brutality. I mean, it's listed online. I mean, yes. kidnapping people, strip searching them illegally. Uh, yeah. False arrest. Rip, ripping, yeah, false arrest. Ripping women out of the bed and dragging them out of a bed. Right, he, he worked for New York City. Yeah, and they hired him anyway. And they need to fire him. So yeah, uh, he, she, he was hired under a previous mayor. Um, I don't fired under, right, which I know he needs to be especially she knew these complaints, because I've talked with numerous business owners. They've complained about him over the last four years. What happens is they she ignores their complaints completely. And then she tells uh, uh, Larry Burke, Larry Burke tells Kenneth Baker, he retaliates against them. 
it's happened so many times. I am going to give the mayor the benefit of the doubt on this because I know how conscientious he is and that you may not always see what's in the words, but you have the right to report and um, and she does her job and the board does their job. You know, she had me kicked out of a public meeting. She took away my time and had an air force to go hands on. That's not a compliment mayor. So I will know them from, from their proof. It's also it's been um, a great meeting, you know, yep, but we're having a little hangout here and well, I would think you would be all concerned about this, that there's this, oh, we heard this you. brutal, I, I, I brutal police it officer. Time. I got it. Well, we were speaking to her, and I, you're, we weren't you're being, speaking you're to you. are being rude now. That's, 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 you see how people don't listen? They just immediately... Right, but we're human beings, too. We're, we can talk. that are supporting a candidate, and you are literally, at least a number of you, not all of you, are ignoring the facts I'm presenting to you. Well, because I, I can say, I can say this about this. We consider very, we consider the whole span. Of right now is a good time. It's a good time. Now, to reveal a brutal We realize that they are much more like a wine and cheese social club, not an organization focused on actual public service. And once criticism of the village of Cold Spring Mayor Kathleen Foley started, Pure politics and deflection to protect their friends immediately came into play. You will see men here telling people to stop talking. This is how corruption works. People being told to, shh, stop talking. Yeah. Well, we, have, we have this. Yeah. I've seen it. All right, but we were talking there. I appreciate what you're doing. Thank you. Uh, I've seen him in action. Uh, I agree. Yeah. Why you would you be us? neutral about a brutal police officer in this village? Can you tell us? If you, if you want to tell us anything about what you saw? Why Why would I go away? Oh, wait a minute. He's too heavy Let's just stop that. Send to a video. Let's just stop This is public. You, you, you do not need to consent no. to a video. See, he's too heavy handed in what way? Excuse me. Yeah. It's not any of that. Yeah. I, just, I was I was invited to talk well, yeah. with this woman right here. Oh. See, this is more corruption here. So many people here do not care. They do not care well, about you, actual you to stop talking, police brutality. Why do you think that is? I mean, there is no he, corruption um, here. No corruption. That's a, okay. Good. Problem solved. So why is the guy still? He, he even agreed. He was he's he, he's heavy-handed in your words. We don't need a heavy-handed guy in this town. No, it's true, but, but, but aside from that, you know, we're having a private gathering. I understand. So it's not really the right forum. Right, well, she, she engaged me in conversation, so I didn't start yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I'm, 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 I'm going to end. I'm going to end. I'm going to have the last word here for a moment, okay? Okay, last word. Okay. Last word is, it's fine to talk to you, and you have the right to talk to us. You have the right to stop and tell us what you're doing. And we have the right to tell you that we support Mayor Foley and the Board of Cold Spring because they are doing a great job comprehensively for a tiny village with a tiny budget in a very complex 21st century world. They have competent legal services. I don't, don't, don't worry about that. <laughs> they have competent legal services. But we're not talking, and talking there about are that. so many pieces to everything that has to be done. So when you are there, exercising your right to be there, you should be respectful we of what Mayor Foley and the board are doing. Eight you have three minutes. minutes. That's right. And it's on the agenda. There's a three-minute limit. Ladies and gentlemen of the village of Cold Spring, our beautiful, serene village, so you known for its warmth and hospitality, has had a dark shadow cast upon it for the last four years by a violent, brutal, and aggressive predator, Officer Kenneth Baker. You knew of Officer Baker's tainted history a track record filled with extreme police brutality while he was an NYPD police officer. Yet based on mere recommendation by Officer Larry Burke, he was not only hired, but also given the power to patrol our peaceful streets. Our peaceful streets. Mayor, I'm not a resident, sir. How dare you? How dare you? Stop interrupting me. Stop Mayor interrupting and me. the Village Board of Trustees, you allow this wolf amongst our flock and continue to do so. And for that, you bear the responsibility. An 88-year-old couple, the gentleman parked next to the restaurant, so his handicapped wife can get out with her walker. Kenneth Baker didn't like that, and he yelled at them. He was incredibly aggressive, and so much so that they will never come here again. Scores of people told me stories of police brutality and aggressiveness that Kenneth Baker did. So I'm calling on each of you to do the right thing and fire Kenneth Baker and your arrogance and how you are not caring about what I'm saying is disgusting.
this, 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 and your time is up. And, and do, do the right thing. Your time and time is up. Let the record reflect. Let the record reflect that this gentleman is not a resident of the village of Cold Spring. He is not a constituent of this board. His name is he. He is a a YouTube First Amendment activist. This is about clicks and it's about money. Oh, we are accountable. We, I am talking now, and I am the mayor, sir. Don't talk to me like that. This then is about accountability. Leave. You may leave. This is about accountability. You've been asked no, to leave. You interrupted me. I have asked you to leave the you room. I have asked you to leave the room. Sir, now look at this. You need to leave. Please get up and leave the court. It's not me. Hey, let me have my, 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 my keys are here. Excuse I'll me. get your keys. I'll get your keys. Look at me. Look at this, what he's doing. Yes. No. This is the disgusting village of Coltrane Board. Okay, okay, everybody take a deep breath. And the complexity there's of being a there's no complexity when you have a town. brutal police officer is... named Kenneth Baker in your village got here it. that you good Thank you. <laughs> good. Well, I've got it with you too. Good. And the beautiful thing about filming is it's it's open to everybody. But if she were competent, which is she she is she's not competent. She, she, and the proof is. is in the pudding. Did she fire Kenneth Baker knowing the past history? Is, but she lies about us. Do you us. know the well, entire history of it? We're not speaking to you. you yes, sir. I know the entire history. Uh, uh, I'm, uh, I'm an investigator. We're, we're not speaking to you. <laughs> right. talking I'm not talking to you. you know, Enjoy your wine. You know what? I, I'm going to come walk Hey, hey, hey. Don't oh. touch me. Oh, don't, don't touch me. Like that. Unwanted touch is assault. Do not touch me. I was about to just put a gentle hand on your shoulder. Unwanted and touch. Walk not with touching you. Okay. okay. Unwanted touch. touch anybody, but no, so no. I do know how you work this, and that this is how you get viewers. This is how you get your viewers. Sit down. Nobody say a word to these guys. This is priceless. Keep going. He did all this on his own and walked about 25 feet from his chair at the restaurant to where I was standing on a public sidewalk to get directly into my face to begin his epileptic-looking distortions. Yet they will claim I baited him, looking for trouble. You just watched two adults approach me, not the other way around. This Democratic Party social club, pretending to be a political committee, doesn't care about police issues in this village unless it is racial because they can't make slogans and signs and instead do absolutely nothing. You see, police officer Kenneth Baker is an equal opportunity thug. Back up. I, you know, I read your you are in. You are in my space. I Back up. I actually know the story. Back up out of my space. I actually agree Back with up out of my why? space. And back up out of my space. I've heard you, okay, I've heard your position. Back up, six wine. feet, buddy. Just, six feet. Just, okay, six just, feet. Just sit down and wait. wait. I know the story. No, we're not going to go away. Thank you very much. I'm right. actually Adam, with Adam. You. Adam, no. just Please sit. Away. Ignore him. So if somebody right. talk to him. So if somebody, if somebody abuses women, that's okay because no, you don't. Because you don't. Listen. No, because of course you don't it's like, not okay. I know the story. Because he doesn't. Because you don't like him. Listening. You don't know the story, but because you don't like him personally. Listen, but it's not about him. And about you engage that. me in conversation. Don't know the story. Answer. Right. Stop. Don't argue. Now we know. Just let him go away. And let him stay here and continue talking. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, this was, an, this was an opportunity. We're just having a conversation. <laughs> yeah, we we're just having a conversation. That's all it was. That's okay. All right, so anyway, this group could have, could have done some good here in the village of Cold Spring. So this is a, a group of people that could have made a difference and listened to the truth, but unfortunately they did not. So make sure that you hold the public officials accountable who need to do the right thing for the people. That's it's, it's so simple. Who did? Who did? Ken Baker? Ken Baker? So I'd love to see that. I would love to. Can you? So why did? Thank you. How did Ken Baker pull your wig? You had a big, beautiful German Shepherd, I recall. Yes. Do you know how long ago was that? And Chris's one time. Do you remember, hmm. like, we were, we were sitting in there living right, well, room. Well, the like, email's on there. My email's on the bottom. You can let us know. You can be anonymous.
so I just got on camera that guy said Ken Baker assaulted his wife. That was freaking awesome. Right here. Damn. And he's like acting like we're the bad guy. Which one? Which guy was The it? guy that got in your face. Huh. See, it's always projection. Yeah, exactly. He's like, he thinks you're the guy that's going to cause trouble in his life. And I'm looking now. They got video. And that's, that's now documented on the other side. Oh, see, I wasn't, I wasn't filming in the beginning. That shows how fortunate it was. Oh, I did. Oh. See, I told you. Yeah. I'm always going. It's heavy here in your first. Yeah, you had some really good stuff. Guy. Oh, I like the way she announces that we have the right. It's not like it's not about that. Right. It's not about you giving us the They're right. Not, none of us are like addressing the information right. that is revealed. You have the right <laughs> to tell us about it. No. Oh no, it's further down. Oh my God, this has nothing to do. They always change the topic. Hey, hello there, Jeff. How are you? Good. Too? I need subpoena forms. I don't have those. Where? How can I get them? Can I have to subpoena some people you know, immediately? You could check with the court clerk, but I do believe you need to go online to get them. I don't know that. I've been looking. I, I didn't find that's so why. And I called, and no one called me back. So I said, I'm just going to come here. Let me. Give it. She's in a meeting right now. But let me just. I appreciate it. And here we have the wall of infamy here. The anti-mayor Kathleen E. Foley, trustees, L. Bozzi, C. Fatty, Eliza Starbucks, T. Woods, Judge Thomas Costello, witness to the retaliatory predatory behavior of Kenneth Baker, Officer Kenneth Baker. Hi. Hey, hello there. I'm I need subpoena forms. And I, I don't have any. I, I don't have Someone said online that this is the place to get them. Online that this is the place to get them. No. Yeah, I'm going to have to subpoena a number of people for my upcoming trial. Hey, hello there. What's, what's that? Interesting. I'm here to fill out some subpoenas, and you said that I, that after I fill them out, you get them to the judge to sign? Yeah, now the justice is not here this week. He will be back on Wednesday. All right. So I will not be able to get him to him before then. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to also, if I can have a piece of paper, I'm going to do a motion to adjourn, since there won't be enough time, so my trial is next week. And then a uh, motion to adjourn, particular date. Appreciate it. Have a you have a pen or is a pen there? Um, you could use this one. All right. Appreciate it as always, Jeff. Thank you. You're welcome. Look at it. They even have donuts here. But don't eat them. They will turn you into a beta, to a bootlicker. Hi, James. Uh, greetings. Let's be two seconds. Is Jeff being on our side or helpful? You, 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 I am neutral. Perfect. Well, Perfect. I gotta tell you, and I said it every time, Jeff. He's the most professional person. True. True. I, I admit. My job is to service. Help people as they walk in the water. Can you train other people to do that? <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. You know, it's like one human being. You know, we're all humans. You know, yep. and, and that's all it is. And I'm just giving information. I'm not making this stuff up. Yeah. You know, and it was received very negatively. So, uh, so I appreciate. Actually, I appreciate neutrality. That's how it should be. <laughs> yeah. So this is for the mayor. This is for well, that's very interesting, Larry yeah. Burke, and this is for whoever cares. Right. Whoever cares to read it. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Don't forget your camera. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yep. 
right.